so it turns out I just ran into a technical difficulty and uh, the recording software just stopped in the middle of the video. So I'm just going to go really quickly through what I did, but it's, it's really simple. Um, I had that curve and all I did was I took this curve and created an extrusion. And once you have this extrusion, basically all you want to do is move it aside so it's easier to work with, make a copy, and you can type in copy or you can do Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then move this surface to wherever you want it. In this case, we want it to be edge to edge. And then what you're going to want to do is use the rotate tool to rotate one of the surfaces 90 degrees to the other surface. And so what that does, it gives it that curvature both from the top and from the side. Once you have that, you want to use the trim feature, select both surfaces, press enter, and you want to cut it twice. So trimming object, we want to trim this and that. So now we have a clean edge we can work from, and the reason why we, why we want to, to keep this clean is because now we can select both surfaces, join the surfaces, and using a simple fillet edge, you can add um, a small fillet in between. And you have to do it now because if you do it later, then you don't get that clean cutting shape um, that you're looking for. You know, you really want that nice highlight in there. Um, so I just use that number, whatever it is. I think it was 0 0.01, which was m one millimeter in my case. Um, so the scale is kind of off. Um, but anyway, um, so I used a small fillet in here. Then I took that, moved it onto the object. And uh, I did some more complicated stuff. Like before doing the fillet, I made sure it was uh, using the project, taking that point, uh, moving it to the center of the object, and then I moved it exactly the same unit up as I did to the left. So I moved it by, I think it was 0.1. It's probably 0.1 millimeter, so 0.1 mm up. Yeah, that's what I did. And then you can hold shift to go up. 0.1 mm to the left. So something like that. Um, and so that ensures that the spacing is still symmetrical to your X and Y axis. So it makes everything look really, really clean. Um, so yeah, I did that first, so I could align it using that, uh, that point here. And then what I did is the fillet edge, I did that afterwards. And yeah, and that's it. Uh, and so once you have something like that, you have your cutting object and you can array your cutting your cutting object using the center point. So you find the center and you make an array of four. So four copies going around. Around 360 degrees. Accept. Accept. Pressing enter every time. Um, and then you can use these surfaces to trim the cylinder using the trim tool. And then you use the cylinder to trim these surfaces and once you join everything, you get this nice result. Um, but then, looking at the image reference, what I realized was that these, these surfaces that I used to trim, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. But um, the outside profile is not exactly the way I wanted it. And I realized that it was much shorter than it should be. Um, or more, it was shorter in the images and too long in my model. So I went back and I scaled it in one dimension to create a shorter section uh, in the front. And this was really easy to do because all I had to do was explode the object. Um, and I had made a duplicate before trimming anything. I made a copy of it. Um, but long story short, the way you do it is I'm going to explode, uh, what's going on? Explode the object, uh, 
Yeah. Um, so once you explode the object, you can select it. Uh, you can do things like that. Delete. So now I only have two surfaces. I can untrim all of that. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to untrim this as well. So the way I'm going to do that is by hiding. I guess I shouldn't use the shortcuts. Uh, I'll use that instead. Just hide the selection. And I'm going to use the untrim feature. Untrim this. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's going to do the job. I can just use that. And trim. And obviously I'm typing the command in to go quicker because I don't want to spend too much time just going through the menu. Um, but uh, the commands are exactly the same. You know, you can just go down here and find them. Um, hide and show, you find them right here, but typically I type them. I, I type them in the command instead of looking for them as an icon. Uh, same thing with the trim feature, you can use this one. And go down here to the trim, trim command, trim this, and that's it. So now we're back to where I was before. Uh, and once you have something like that, you can join whatever you think you're going to keep, join it, and whatever we're changing, which in this case is this, uh, we can select it, join it as its own object. So that's a set of poly surfaces. Um, and what I'm going to do here is keep this flat. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is by typing in CAP, which creates a cap on any flat surfaces. Uh, one of the problem with that is if I move it, it also did a cap here, so now I'm going to explode. Oops, uh, cancel. I clicked on the wrong command. Uh, I'm going to use this one, explode, select the surface that I don't want to use, and delete it. I move this back where it's supposed to be, using the center point. I forgot to select this one, but that's okay. I can go from center to center. And join everything, scale in one dimension, go from your top view. And now you can scale it in one dimension using the center. Actually, you don't need to use the center. You can do whatever you want. You can even use the endpoint right here. As long as you go straight, you can scale it in one dimension this way. And you can see even in three dimensions, you can see how it's uh, getting shorter and shorter. So you can choose how short you want that to be. You don't have to rebuild the whole curve and, and create a new geometry for that. So you can just scale some of these surfaces. Um, and then once you have that, you can use the same process of cutting, removing, and um, yeah, and just work around, work back and forth, trimming and untrimming until you get the right results. And that concludes this video. So. If you have any questions, just uh, just let me know in uh, in the class comments, and uh, I can go back and help you out with any any issues you come across.